With technology playing a bigger role in elder care, the owners of this retirement home have been using a tool to give residents more freedom. They've been using air tags as tracking devices so those with cognitive decline can go and explore the neighborhood on their own. When I came here at first, you know, I, I was lost, yeah. 85-year-old Pierrette Beauvais lives here. She's not familiar with Montreal. She's from Sorel-Tracy, which is a much smaller city. The staff at Résidence Outremont has been giving air tags to seniors like Beauvais for several years now. It came after one of their residents disappeared. About three or four years ago, uh, we realized that one of uh, the residents, we couldn't find them. And this, of course, causes a lot of stress and anxiety. How does it work exactly? It's round and we put it uh, on the key holder. I uh, put it beside my, my phone and it transfer in, in my phone. If an employee sees that the person is missing for an hour or so, they phone me and, and I, I check where they are and I go get them. So the resident does not need to have an iPhone because the AirTag sends out a Bluetooth signal to the employee's phone or to an Apple device that is within range. <laughs> Bon. Co-owner Marie-Pierre Tessier says she acknowledges that this tracking device could raise privacy issues. When we use these tools, it's a discussion that we have with them. They are aware that we use this, this tool. We talk to their family, we make sure everybody is aware and is okay with us using that tool. If a person doesn't want to, then we're not going to force it upon them. The residents plans to keep on using AirTags, which they say helps staff members and residents feel more at ease.